What's up, beautiful babes? It's your girl, Sweet Angel. How you doing today? I hope you are doing well. Y'all, if you are here and you have not subscribed, I need you to hit that subscribe button so hard, yes, that it turns colors. And it will, from red to gray or whatever it will be. And beautiful babes, to make sure you stay in the know, you absolutely, positively must hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified each and every time I upload. And that'll mean the world to me because I want you to be in the know each and every time. Because I'm working hard to share some things with you, some things that I just love. Y'all, I love reading about stuff, just stuff, and finding out things. And today we're talking about collagen. Yes, what we so much need. And especially as we get older, collagen just whew, evaporates. It just, it just goes. And that's what happens when everything just kind of starts like going in another direction. But we're going to talk about ways that we can definitely help to boost our collagen. Yes. Yes, we're going to do that right now. As a matter of fact, thank you so much again for stopping by. Let's get to it. First, let's talk about what is collagen. Collagen is a type of protein, fibrous in nature. It connects and supports all of our bodily tissues. Yes, it does. And y'all, welcome my fly to the room. He's having a good time. So we ain't going to let him bother us today. No, we're not. So when you think about skin, bone, tendons, muscles, and cartilage, just think about what's holding all this together. And we are talking about, at that point, collagen. Might as well say collagen is like the glue that holds it all together. <laughs> and that's really, literally, what keeps us from falling apart. But guess what? When you get a little bit up in age, yes, the collagen starts diminishing. So technically, you know what happens. We kind of start falling apart. So first we're gonna talk about what internally can we do to help boost up that collagen level. Let's talk about certain foods that we can eat. We're gonna start off, first of all, with soy milk. Yes, soy milk or soy products contain an element known as genistein. The presence of genistein gives soy products their collagen production qualities, as well as helping to block enzymes that tend to break down and age the skin. The next thing you can get is fresh cucumbers, which are high in sulfur, which is important to collagen production. You can also eat beets. Beets are a good source of collagen. Do you like salmon? Salmon fillets are a good source of omega-3 fatty acids. I love cantaloupe, and cantaloupe can help keep collagen levels high. Want y'all some celery, girl? Fresh celery stalks are rich in sulfur, which is important for collagen production. Now, my husband hates these black olives, but I like black olives. They contain sulfur, which is important for collagen production. Now, everybody loves some greens. Dark green vegetables are also an excellent example of foods containing collagen producing agents, rich in vitamin C, regular consumption of kale, spinach, collards, and asparagus helps to strengthen the body's ability to manufacture collagen and to utilize the protein effectively. Red fruits and vegetables also are an excellent source to up the collagen content of foods in the diet. The presence of lycopenes in these foods helps to act as antioxidants, which in turn increases collagen production. Try adding red peppers, beets, and fresh or stewed tomatoes to your diet. In the like manner, darker berries such as blueberries and blackberries also help to boost the antioxidant level in the body and stimulate the production of collagen. The presence of omega acids also helps to create an ideal environment for collagen production. Fish, such as salmon and tuna, are excellent sources of omega fatty acids. Nuts, you like cashews, pecans, almonds, or Brazil nuts? Good, cause they contain a healthy amount as well. For a snack that promotes healthy production of collagen, try making an avocado dip. Avocados contain the same amount of omega fatty acids as fish 
and digest just as easily. Foods that are rich in sulfur content are also important to collagen production. Among these are green and black olives, fresh cucumbers, and fresh stalks of celery, as we mentioned earlier. Working in conjunction with the sulfur, vegetables that are rich in vitamin A also aid in keeping collagen levels high. Try adding raw carrots, fresh cantaloupe, and baked sweet potatoes to the diet, and honey, you're in for an extra boost. Now keep in mind that it is possible to provide everything your body needs to produce collagen by eating a balanced diet, by including some of the foods we mentioned here earlier. And you will soon begin to see a difference in the quality of your skin tone and achieve beautiful and smooth, as well as have an improved overall sense of health. So today, what am I sharing with you? I've already talked about the foods, go ahead and stock up on that, but also we're gonna work externally. And today we are going to give you, guess what? A collagen boosting mask. Did I say natural? A natural collagen boosting mask. It's very simple and we're gonna jump right to it, beautiful babes, but hold on. You need to hit that subscribe button first before I tell you anything else. Thank you, girl. All right, let's get to it. All right, beautiful babes, let's get to making this collagen mask right here at home. So all we need is a cucumber, as I mentioned, and it's only two to three inches of the cucumber, entire cucumber, including the skin. So about one, two, three inches about right here is sufficient. So there we go. And I'm just gonna kind of slice and dice it for easy blending in the blender so that we won't have any problems blending it up. Just like so. Put it right over there. <laughs> and y'all know this is my favorite part in separating the egg. We're only going to take the egg white. So let's get to doing that. And that is perfect. Done. Can you believe your girl did it on the first try? How about that? And then the final ingredient is going to be frankincense essential oil. Absolutely. And the link for this one will be down below. So check it out. We're only going to need two to three drops. I'm just going to drop it right into the egg white. All's done. Now we'll just mix those together like so. And it's time to whip it up. We'll whip this together, the cucumber and the egg whites into the blender. Also, I just went ahead and poured in the frankincense oil. We'll whip this up pretty much at, at a low speed and uh, to really maximize the benefits of this homemade face mask while this is blending. You just simply start massaging your face to get the blood flowing. So let's go ahead and pop this into the blender. This will help the skin to absorb more nutrients. No additional water is needed. And there we go. All blended up. Then rinse with warm water and then apply the mask.
All right, we're gonna leave it on for 15 minutes and rinse and pat dry. All right, beautiful babes, that is it. That is it in a nutshell. Absolutely a college and feel nutshell for sure. Beautiful babes, listen, I love sharing these great little tidbits with you and I hope you so much enjoy them as well as I enjoy doing them. But in, I'm sharing and I want you to share something with me. Please like, comment. If you don't have anything to say, drop me a heart, blow me a kiss, do something like that in the comment section. I certainly appreciate that. Beautiful babes, mm -hmm. subscribe. Yes, subscribe. There you go. I like that. I appreciate you. I absolutely, positively do. So on that note, everybody needs to know about what's going on here at Beauty, Music, and More by your girl, Sweet Angel, so you know what you gotta do. That's it. Share me with your world. See you on the next video. Bye.